A couple of years ago, I was trying to get in touch with a friend I'll call Lucy. <laughs> I'd helped Lucy a great deal over the years, largely with job hunting, interview training, salary negotiation, which he did her excellent results. I needed a small favor from Lucy, an introduction to someone she knew well, but she gave me the silent treatment. Radio silent, non-responsive. I tried reaching out to her a few times for my time-sensitive request and was just surprised by her rudeness, by not responding whatsoever. You should have seen me after I got her voicemail the third or fourth time over the course of the weekend. I didn't even get a single text to ask if I was okay. Oh, this is the last time I, I helped Lucy, I thought to myself, because I started resenting her for being so ungrateful. <laughs> an early morning a few days later, I had a phone call from an unknown number. It was Lucy. She was in New Zealand, her native country, because her sister was in hospital and it was serious. She apologized for her silence. You can imagine how silly I felt. Think, when someone has wronged you, could it not be about you at all? Have you ever realized after a life event when you thought you were the victim of something, how misinformed you might have been at the time? Could we all be a bit more mindful, give others, cut others a bit more slack, and be less certain of the negative intentions of other people? So much suffering happens because of this. Could we perhaps adopt an attitude of not knowing everything and assuming the worst, going straight to that? There are plenty of smaller daily examples too, like the frequent occasions I lose my keys and curse my husband for taking them and then find them in my purse, sorry Heath. This short, funny poem that I stumbled across is certainly worth the two minutes of your day it will take to listen to it. Your week may be a million times more pleasant and easy after considering the content inside. It's called The Cookie Thief by Valerie Cox. A woman was waiting at an airport one night with several long hours before her flight. She hunted for a book in the airport shop, bought a bag of cookies and found a place to drop. She was engrossed in her book but happened to see that the man beside her, as bold as could be, grabbed a cookie or two from the bag between, which she tried to ignore to avoid a scene. She munched cookies and watched the clock as his gutsy cookie thief diminished her stock. She was getting more irritated as the minutes ticked by, thinking, if I wasn't so nice, I'd blacken his eye. With each cookie she took, he took one too, and then when only one was left, she wondered what he'd do. With a smile on his face and a nervous laugh, he took the last cookie and broke it in half. He offered her half as he ate the other. She snatched it from him and thought, oh brother, this guy has some nerve and he's all so rude. He didn't even show any gratitude. She had never known when she had been so galled and sighed with a re relief when her flight was called. She gathered her belongings and headed for the gate, refusing to look back at the thieving ingrate. She boarded the plane and sank in her seat, then sought her book, which was almost complete. As she reached in her baggage, she gasped with surprise. There was a bag of cookies in front of her eyes. If mine are here, she moaned with despair, then the others were his and he tried to share. Too late to apologize, she realized with grief that she was the rude one, the ingrate, the thief. When have you misread a situation or what could you be seeing differently in your life right now? If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to head on over to suzy-more.com to download my free self-coaching guide.